Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 30 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we're going to use some of the wood blocks and fence posts that we had recovered from the abandoned mine shaft recently in a project of exterior design. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make ourselves a lovely little patio here in the front, a wooden dock, and a wharf along the side of the lagoon right there. So that's what I'm envisioning. Let's see how this comes out. I'm not much of a designer. <laughs> okay, what do we need for this project? We need smooth stone, which is basically cobblestone cooked in a furnace, and you'll get smooth stone. I have 27 pieces all cooked up for this. We're also going to need some sandstone and half slab blocks of that, half slab of the smooth stone, um, half slabs of wooden blocks as well. Um, our wood that we had recovered here from the abandoned mine shaft. I have a bunch of fence, some fence gate, and our standard assortment of tulios. Okay, let's make the half block slabs, which again is just those three arranged like so. We're going to need about 12 of the light gray smooth stone. I did all this uh, gathering off camera just to save time. I gathered up a bunch of sand to make the sandstone. I also gathered up cobblestone that was missing. Yeah, we're going to need a little bit of cobble, too, for this project. Um, let's, uh, all right, let's head outside. I don't think I need my bow out right now. All right, 12 of those, 12 of those. That should do for a start. Okay, so first things first, why don't we lay out the basic, uh, the basic outline of patio we want the patio to be it's going to come out roughly about let's see one two three go out about four right about there and then let's put down wood here and wood here and here let's do the same thing on the other side we're going to dig all that out I'm not sure why i dug that out just to show you how many were going out to the side so far i guess that was my plan for that same thing for on this side and we're going to get some water rushing in here if we're not careful so like that now we can dig all this out because we're going to have a sunken design um but before we do that let's put the dock out and just eliminate this water because it's going to cause a problem we can just get rid of that like so let's have our dock about hmm, yay big let's have the dock about three so what you want to do is go one two three out and then just fill all that in with wood now we should have plenty of Hey, come back here. I want that piece back. Yes, indeed we do. You should have some dirt on you as well. Not on you, but, you know, in your pockets. <laughs> okay, so that's our dock. Now let's finish up our patio. So let's just dig right down one layer. Good eat enough. Pick up all the dirt. So now what we want to do is stagger. We're going to make the checkerboard design just like we had going uh, there in front of us. So let's just do that. One, two, three. I'm not going to count. And you go there. I think I'm going to have enough. Yes, just enough. Wow. Who's better than me? Huh? Huh, Sammy? <laughs> oh, you're Sam. Sorry. And now let's put in the light gray stone slabs for the lovely little checkerboard effect. Perfect. Perfect. And now we have a nice little patio. Oh, now we just need friends to enjoy. Yes, you are friends. I know. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to diss you guys, you little canine fools. Okay. Um. Now let's grab this cobble. And what are we going to do with the cobble? Let's put the cobble here. This is going to be... The pillar that holds up the dock. I'm just going to put a torch up there for now. Let's just see how this looks. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Now we're going to take the um, half wooden slabs and attach it there. 
and just go all the way down to about hmm to I'm just according to my calculations um, that might be too much let's get this wood let's break that guy down remember half slabs break the vest with picks fancy that okay that's what we want to do instead of that let's come back to that let's revisit that in a minute let's make our whole dock all the way down at that line and we're going to go one two and I suppose we should go three yeah go out three that's good oh by the way if you are following along you have this map there was a bunch of clay right here I've dug that up don't cover it up grab it store it away for future use and let's make this three wide we're gonna cut right through this sand and dirt I want to go all the way down all the way down to downtown so whatever gets in your way eliminate it oh, something's popping I'm not sure how long I want to make this thing but let's just keep going I got I got plenty of wood here to go around awesome okay so let's take a look handy little peek let's go a little bit more I really want this let me give you the idea of the future plans probably gonna build something up there eventually I'm thinking a, a tower with a laboratory like a wizard's tower we're gonna get into enchanting and potion brewing so this path will naturally lead up there but for now let's finish up our little wharf here so we have our personal patio our personal dock and uh, public wharf if anybody wants to hop on here and well I guess you can't can you <laughs> alright well you can share it with your own friends okay alright now we're gonna utilize some of this fence since we have so darn much of it but before no let's do that now that's okay let's do this let's do it on this side first and just go one there and then go all the way to the block to the cobblestone block now oop. oh dear me that's what happens when you work fast pay attention I should have my hard hat on too I think all right, let's go right about there's the where's he and we're going to need another I think it'll look nice if we have another cobble here so let's do that kind of want the cobble to all match up nicely nice nice the cobble makes it look like there's a, a stone pillar there that's providing the stability and strength for this thing otherwise what the heck's holding it up right a little stone there and now we're going to go out let's go down about I yeah, see so take your half slabs and we're gonna just cover up the water like this so let's go down five one two three four and five and then on the sixth one make another pillar of stone and you can do the same on this side half slabs two three four and five sixth one will be a stone same on this side want to match them up look nice and even okay and oh wait <laughs> back up there mr. Paul I messed up we want the stone in right inside yeah because we want this to be too wide so hit the reverse button there sorry about that and there we go okay it's getting dark already that's insanity it's okay I think we're almost done so let's go one two three four and five out here as well and pillar and then pillar here hurry work faster spy chickens are out and worse probably let's grab some of these torches and plop them up on top alright now fill all this in with wood finish up the wharf oops Ooh, that was a bad shot there 
Let's go down and get that. It's going to create a little current. No, maybe not. Okay, good. All right. Let's now, let's put the torches up. I'm not quite done. This is our little wharf. It's very nice. Huh? Um, we're going to... There's two ways you can do this. I think it looks okay like this, but I don't like having all this unsecured. I don't like... This is too open for me. Something could run down this hill and attack me. So, and I want to use some of this uh, fence that we brought back from the mines that we worked so hard to gather, risking our lives. So let's just do that. There we go. It's kind of cool. Not too chabby. And now I do have a couple of gates. Let's toss down a gate there and a gate there. I can get in and out. Hey guys, check it out. Come on. Man, you guys have been watching all that time. So obedient. So it's well lit. It's somewhat secure. I can put another... Oh! Hop right in. I could put another... Excuse me. <laughs> um, a fence gate here. Or just leave it open. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Seems okay open. So the plan down the road is now to build a path up to my wizard's tower on top of that hill. That's going to be pretty soon, actually. We just have to get one more diamond for the enchantment table. And then we can get into some enchanting. So, I think that's that's not too shabby. We have our private little patio. And we can walk out here. And the sun is on the rise. And we have our coffee, our tea. Share a crumpet with the doggy. Good girl, Sam. What do you think? Nice sunset? Yeah, it's pretty dark and pretty late, isn't it? Oh, Sam, come on in. Come on in. Suppose we could put a torch over here somewhere. Brighten things up a little bit. You can't get through there, can you? <laughs> oh, here we go. And then on this side, this half slab, you just walk right over. We can do some fishing from here. Um, now the boat... The boat is interesting. Boats are unreliable at best. You can't really build a dock for the boat or a slip. Get him! Come on, Sam. Sammy, did I just smack you? I'm sorry. Come here. I know. I have some zombie flesh for you. There you go. Yeah, good. All right, now come over here. Um, I have tried many variations of trying to make like a slip here and get the, the boat inside so that it stays, but they're either, they, either they break up really easily or something will hit it and it'll go f just hurtling across the, the lagoon and disappear into the darkness. So I'm going to hold off on that. Um, if I need a boat, I'll just make one. So anyway, there you have it. I hope you all enjoyed. We have our patio and wharf and dock, and we will expand this in a future episode by making a little path up that way. Oh, close the door. Was that me? And um, and then we'll we'll move on from there. I think we want to get one more diamond, make that enchantment table, and then I would also like to, to head down to the Nether and show you guys what the Nether looks like. Grab some glowstone and some other things while we're down there. And uh, well, we'll pick it up from there. So, um, as always, if you did enjoy and I helped you in any fashion, I would always appreciate a like. And I salute you for the like. Thank you. It helps my channel. Salute. Okay, take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.